Hey, so I'm going to be doing Emmanuel, and Chris Bodie is playing in Georgia, and it's coming up in 30 seconds, so let's check it out. Anyway, my name is Matt Chris Squalo. I'm coming to you up close and personal, and I'm going to be doing, listen, I like Chris Bodie. You know, I'm a serious, I, well, I consider myself a, a progressive uh, post-bebop modern jazz saxophonist and composer. That's a mouthful. You don't have to remember that. When you're not going to get tested on this. But, uh, you know, I got pretty good ears. I listened to, you know, Monk and Rachmaninoff and Stravinsky and Coltrane and Miles and you name it. Um, And I like all sorts of music. Um, Chris Bodie, you know, I think he's a fine musician. I I don't know too, too much about him, but I respect anybody that can play the trumpet. He plays it beautifully and he does a great and he makes a living at it. And you know what, man, that right there, he deserves an, an award. But he's obviously got a very good thing going, so let's get right to it. Chris Botti, Botti. Hmm. Okay, first of all, I got to thank Ron Shapiro. He's a friend of mine. I, I, I consider him a friend. He's a great supporter of the channel. And he, he's, I, Ron, I don't know how you do it, but you always nail these songs. They're right up my alley. We must be birds of a feather cut from the same cloth. I don't know what, but this is like right up my alley, man. And you did it again. You always do that. Anyway, I got Ron is a is a supporter of the channel, and if you want to support the channel, you can do so simply by subscribing. But if you look in the description below, you could buy me a cup of coffee. You could, you know, you know whatever you can do would be would be nice, and you can and, and make a request like uh, like Ronnie did. But Jesus Christ, I love this stuff. Let me get right back to it. Oh my God.
I like listening to Chris Bodie, man. I like that. You know, to play something simple but make it sound interesting is not easy because really that's something that so many great artists and musicians try to do is to make something simple. And maybe that's not the right word, but to make something that seemingly simple sound interesting. You know, a lot of musicians, you know, over an F7 chord, they can, you know, superimpose a bunch of di th different things on there and and, and deviate and, and get off the the, 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 the the F7 and play some other shit on top of it in its hip. You know what I mean? But it's also equally, and it, it's, it, it, but if you play F7 and it sounds, you know, pretty straight and, and square and, and, and straight laced, it, it could sound, you know, sometimes boring, especially if you've heard stuff over and over again with that playing. You know. But if you can play F7, and make it sound interesting and and play that f7 chord and, and solo over that and make it sound interesting that's a that's quite a feat in, in in my opinion because you know it's 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 not so much about what you're saying but how you're saying it and when i listen to chris that's what i hear he's playing very clean no vibrato but there's a lot there's a lot of stuff behind the vibrato you know it, it, I don't know. I think you know what I'm trying to say. Hopefully I'm articulating it. And she sounds beautiful too. Oh. Yeah, very tasteful though, very, very tasteful. Shit. Wow. Nice. Mm. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes, it was so great. She had a different style. She was, you know, putting some vibrato and ornamenting it. It was a little bit busier, but not in a bad way. It's very tasteful. There's so many different ways to say it. You know what I mean? It's just everybody's got their own voice, their own interpretation, their own expression. And, you know, it's just interesting. When you hear it on a high level like this, it's and the, the, the artistry and the mas mastery. Yeah, it's so inspiring, you know. Uh, you feel good about the human race. <laughs> and it's a... And, 
you know, you, you you can't you got to admire, you know, anybody anybody who's in the arts. Um, uh, it's so interesting, you know, when you see an artist and you think, you know, what made them go into that? I mean, did they think about what it was going to be like, uh, you know, to make a living that way? It seems like it's hard or, you know, they must love their art so much that they've decided to make that what they do for their life. You know, I think it's so, it, it just definitely speaks to how, how like also like when you're young and the way you think and how I, you know, you're so idealistic and you want to, you know, just play music, you know what I mean? And be great at it and just, and the and the funny, the thing is the better you get at, at an art like, you know, music or, or whatever or anything for that matter, but it just becomes so second nature. And then the connection between the intellect and the emotion and the technique, when they all gel, you know, and you hear somebody doing that, or if you are the artist that has gotten to that point of effortless mastery, um, uh, a, 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 a phrase that was coined, I, I believe, by Kenny Werner, the great jazz pianist, um, or maybe it's it's existed before, I don't know, but... Wonderful book, by the way, if you want to read that kind of thing. It's awesome. As an artist, actually, you probably, especially as a jazz musician, if you haven't checked out uh, Kenny Werner's uh, book called Effortless Mastery, it's a good one. Um, but anyway, yeah. Hey, look, this was just beautiful. Thank you, Ronnie, for suggesting it. It was a, a great listen and great to watch and definitely moved me, made me feel so many wonderful feelings and, and brought back some nice memories of being in Italy, for example, I was I was imagining as I was walking through the streets of Sorrento, you know what I mean, just you know what I mean, just walking around. Or in, in, when I was in, in in Paris, I remember Montmartre and walking around there a little bit. You know, it's just so beautiful. It brings back these beautiful, you know, images and and feelings. You know, it was just nice. Thank you so much. For, for tuning in and if you liked what you heard and saw today uh, please subscribe to the channel hit that like button you know post a comment down below and check out the description as well because you can be supportive of the channel in, in small ways makes a big difference hey it's nice to be important but it's more important to be nice and you take it easy and if it's real easy hey take it twice <laughs>